just got to say, guys, it's great to be here. So I was back in Australia for a couple of weeks there too, and it was the middle of the winter there, and i got to say, it's great to be back in Scotland, because I was missing the rain. <laughs> I was getting a bit sick of that midwinter heat down there in Australia. So it's great to come back to Scotland, where your summers are fantastically different from winters, aren't they? It's like... <laughs> long shit days instead of short shit days. That's... an extra eight hours to appreciate that rain in. <laughs> Fucking absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Oh, God. I'll tell you what, though. I, I do like it, though. Because the thing is, I come from a drought-stricken part of Australia where it has not rained properly in nine years, right? I've spent this week filling up bottles, right, sending them back home. <laughs> And we've got this thing called level five water restrictions, right? You're not allowed to spend more than two minutes in the shower. Two minutes, like, people lose their minds in Australia. They're like vigilantes that's like Nazi Germany. They're watching you out the windows, right? If they see their neighbour watching their car, they go and burn their fucking house down. <laughs> right? And no one tries to put it out because they're like, don't waste the water, mate. <laughs> we can't spare the water. Right, people are afraid to go to the toilet in Australia. They're like, we might need to drink that later, mate. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely insane, right? Oh, but uh, so that's what I like about here. So you can just spend as long in the shower as you want in Scotland, can't you? No one gives a flying fuck. They encourage you to stay in there for longer. They go, mate, have another ten minutes. Hopefully a village in Wales will reappear. <laughs> Oh, I have to say though, I've been here for a long time now, so I've got used to it. When I first got here, there was nothing more depressing to me as an Australian than the sight of the great old Scottish barbecue, or as we call it in Australia, an aluminium foil tray on the ground. I mean, in Australia, we take great pride in our barbecues. They are permanently built establishments. You have to seek council planning permission. Our grandparents live in the basement of our barbecues. <laughs> it makes cremating them cheaper and it adds flavour to the meat. <laughs> the first time I saw a barbecue here, I thought, you're having a laugh, aren't you? I said, if the meat is bigger than the thing you're cooking it on, it's not a fucking barbecue. I said, if it can be destroyed by a tennis ball, it's not a barbecue. <laughs> Although I have noticed that you've designed them to float, so that's clever. <laughs> the primary purpose of a Scottish aluminium barbecue is that you can pick it up in a hurry and run with it when the fucking rain comes in. <laughs> so uh, that's absolutely fantastic. 